have a good reason to get it. I just knew it was going to be fabulous. And I think that was my main reason to get it. Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the rest of my Black Friday haul. I did kind of save best for last because I have the She Scented Moroccan Gold, which we will get to in a bit. If you want to see what I got, stay tuned. I would hate when people say that in videos. <laughs> but anyway, I felt like saying it. I just had a curl original she scented that was stuck at USPS but they graciously gave it to me. I got the pink superfoods line because I just heard great things about it from pretty much everybody and I really wanted to find some curl origin to love again. So I almost didn't get it because the shampoo was sold out. The shampoo is what I was really most interested in and I was like, oh, if I'm not getting the shampoo, like, you know, do I really want to get the other stuff, blah blah blah. But then lo and behold, the day after Black Friday actually, the shampoo came back in stock so I was like, it's a sign. It's a sign. So I ended up getting everything. <laughs> I got the Pink Superfoods Lux Detox Charcoal Shampoo. Don't mind if I do on a nice charcoal shampoo. I think it'll be really interesting. I don't have any charcoal shampoos in my stash. The She Scented Flaxseed Treatment does have charcoal, but it's like a different kind of consistency. It's more of a mask than a shampoo. This one actually does have some cocoa betin and stuff in there with the activated charcoal and a bunch of fruit extracts. So I am looking forward to trying this. So I'm expecting it to be somewhat gentle just because of the way they stated it in all the fruit extracts. I'm thinking I will like the experience with all the moisture and everything. I'm thinking it's going to be an exciting time and I'm looking forward to trying it. Just like I guess Kills Dynasty, sometimes it's like the shampoo or sometimes it's just like one product that really pulls me in. And since I'm there, I kind of get some other stuff from the line. So that was this. And after shampoo comes mask, I guess. The Pink Superfoods Hydro Melt Mask. Just giving me like SOS signals. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, the top is like metallic, so it's weird. <laughs> Anyways, the ingredients are pretty similar to the shampoo in terms of like the fruit extracts and then the moisture. So then I have the Weightless Moisture Double Cream. So it didn't have a leave-in in this line, so I figured I'm going to use this as a leave-in and hope for the best. It does have water as the first ingredient, so I figure we can make it work. As long as it has water as the first ingredient and it does have some conditioning agents like BTMS and stuff, I usually, in my mind, I can substitute it for a leave-in. Then I got this Agave and Apricot Hydrating Curl Serum. So we'll see what this does. I'm not expecting it to be like a full-on gel or custard, but I am going to apply everything we just saw, then apply this see what it does, show you what it does, and then potentially add some, I don't know, eco styler or something on top of it for hold. It's very full, so I can't tell how runny it is, but it doesn't look like it's super runny. But it's hard to tell since it's super full, which of course I'm liking. And look at that, I'm finished my curl origin haul already. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? That was the curl origin haul of four, pretty much just a wash day. Hopefully an exciting, marvelous wash day and definitely coming up soon. Next we have She Scented. So I did go a little bit more crazy for She Scented, but even then I kinda kept it minimal because I have a whole shelf of She Scented already there in my stash, so I really don't need it. But then Moroccan Gold, okay, take my money. That's kinda how the story went. But I'm actually gonna start off with the Royal Honey line. So I'm on a mission to buy and try every single She Scented product. <laughs> And this is part of that mission. So I got the Royal Honey and Argan Softening Leave-In Milk. And the Royal Honey and Argan Hair Mask. I probably should do some YouTubing and see who else has like demoed this. But if you've used these, let me know. It doesn't have as many fruit extracts and stuff as the typical she sent it. I got the Okra Hairy Peri Tentive Mask and I got the Tahiti Cocktail Curl Enhancing Jelly Custard. You guys know I love both of these. I'm restocking so that says a lot before I finish the whole mountain that I have. Then we get to the star of the show, the Moroccan Gold, the new new. So the main draws of this are the Argan Oil, Date and Plum Extracts. For me, throw in the honey because I do like to see like honey or agave in a product as well. And it really reminds me of the Plum Nectar and Agave. You just have some really nice fruit extract and you have honey this time. So the first item is the Moroccan Gold 2-in-1 Shampoo. 
So it's basically, I'm just gonna call it a co-wash because I think that's what a two-in-one shampoo is at this point. I don't know, we'll try it and see, but it's like a shampoo and a conditioner, so I'm figuring it's gonna be a co-wash in the end. This line is a bit strange in terms of the items because we have like this two-in-one and then we have like a clay mask, so it's kind of like interesting, but I'm gonna roll with it, I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna show you guys. Either way, I'm sure my hair is gonna be moisturized and look great in the end. Let me just show you the ingredients of the two-in-one. These are the ingredients of the mask. So I like that the mask has Rasool clay as well as bentonite clay because I really like Rasool clay. Like for me, bentonite clay is the business and Rasool clay is the pleasure <laughs> because Rasool clay just is really moisturizing and softening and stuff and bentonite clay is more cleansing and stuff. So like the combination is great. Plus having like the aloe and the other she sent this stuff just makes it even better. So I am excited to try this. I do feel like just looking at it, it's going to be slightly more of a deep conditioner with a bit of clay as opposed to clay with deep conditioning things. But I'll try it and let you guys know. So the shampoo is supposed to cleanse and condition. And the mask is supposed to detoxify and condition. So I'm kind of in my mind wondering if we're actually supposed to or should use both of the same wash day. Maybe not. So... I don't know, it's going to be a little interesting. Stop me if you think I should do something else because with the two-in-one, I'm kind of shampooing and then conditioning and then this is a kind of shampoo and condition thing too, so I don't know. I don't really want to waste the mask by putting it on kind of co-washed hair and putting it on when it may not be needed and stuff. So after this mask, it's a little bit confusing as well. I bought this rinse out conditioner, the Moroccan Gold Cream Rinse Conditioner. So basically, I'm going to get my conditioning in Either way, I'm going to use this as a leave-in after either one or both of these. And then I get to the oil jelly marmalade. Again, date plum argan oil. It has fig extract as well. I like that this has pectin and xanthan gum because that's a power couple for me. I like to mix pectin and xanthan gum personally when I'm doing my DIYs. For me, it's just the best of both worlds. So, I'm expecting great things from this. It didn't make a comment about holes. I'm expecting this to pretty much be a cross between the Tahiti cocktail and the plum nectar and I'll get custards. And a cross between the two of them sounds like perfection. So, obviously, I'm trying this very soon. Maybe even this weekend because I'm super hyped to try this line. As soon as I get your feedback on how to try it, I'll be trying this line and letting you guys know. And last but not least, I got the Curl Reviving Mousse. So this was a bit of a lost my mind kind of thing. I was looking at that Baskin Bloom mousse and I was like, oh, I want to try it. And I didn't get to get Baskin Bloom this Black Friday. So when I saw this mousse, I was like, oh, a mousse, let me try it. So y'all know I'm way too lazy to be doing any kind of perm rod set or curl set, rod set, set. I don't even think I have any. I think I have something that I bought when I big chucked that I never even looked at again. But I doubt I'll be using it. So I just want to see what a mousse wash and go looks like on my hair. And that's what I'm probably going to do with it. Let me show you the ingredients. We'll see what it does. I've been wanting to try a mousse on my hair forever. And I never have. So this will be my first mousse. I think maybe these three first sounds like the most exciting. So I might do these three first. And then do a second one with these three. I figure that's what I'm going to do. Let me know if you guys have any tips or suggestions. Let me know what you guys have in your stash at the moment that you haven't tried or that you're looking forward to trying next. That's the best thing about Black Friday. It gives you hope, right? <laughs> hope of wash days to come, basically. Thanks for watching, you guys, and thanks for letting me finish up my Black Friday haul. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and let's chat. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.